Okay, this is Incognito, and I'm here to give you your daily weather briefing. Briefing, uh, you know, like whether or whether or not we're gonna make it here as a planet. Uh, you know, most people don't know this. Every gallon of gasoline makes over 20 pounds of CO2. Well, I hear people going, "Oh, CO2 is heating up the planet." I think that's kind of uninformed and uh, misguided. But CO2 is a poisonous gas. It's what Dr. Kevorkian used to dispatch his patients with. You know, remember the suicide doctor? He used a two-pound bottle. If a two-pound bottle of CO2 will expire you, a gallon of gas makes 20 pounds of CO2. That's enough to kill 10 full-grown men. It works out to about, if our vehicle fleet averages 20 miles per gallon, which here in Louisiana it probably doesn't, a lot of people have big trucks and stuff like that, diesels are worse. Um, over the life of a vehicle, that means uh, if it goes 200,000 miles and it makes one pound of CO2 per mile, that means it makes 200,000 pounds, which is 100 tons of CO2. In America, we got 300, mil 300 million registered vehicles, and we use about that many gallons of gas every day. Um, so we're putting um, an unbelievable amount of poisonous, toxic gas into our air. There's only so much air here, people. You know, we need to give it a break. Uh, uh, people worry about global warming, climate change, that's the big topic. No, you hardly hear about the 50,000 people that are killed every year in America. Now, I haven't talked about the whole world. I'm just talking about the United States of America here. How come you don't hear about 50,000 people dying from car exhaust every year? 200,000 uh, from all sources of air pollution. About 85% of that is fossil fuels. So that's like 170,000 people per year. People are freaking out. I see people sending me emails and stuff. Oh, 2,000 2, people are going to die from earthquakes in 20 years. Well, you know, that works out to like 100 people a year or something. We're talking about... 200,000 people <laughs> there's no comparison to what we're doing but you know we don't hear this from the EPA they're not telling us loud enough uh, you know I had to watch Russia TV to find out we're having war in seven countries you know we're not hearing the important stuff we're all wrapped up in uh, how many people came to Donald Trump's inauguration or uh, you know stupid stuff like this here while the air we're breathing, this ought to be the number one thing. If we can't breathe air, we're, we're lost, people. You know, and if we can't realize that we're poisoning the air, what will it take to, to uh, 5 million people a year dying? Uh, pretty soon we're going to have, uh, start getting depopulated. How, you know, how will we stop it? I see this you know we're digging up oil from you know when God made this planet it was like perfect system uh, men have corrupted it God made the sewer where dead stuff went where the toxic stuff went uh, the waste went and we're digging that up and burning it into the air well the air used to be clean the water used to be clean it's us people we are we need to take responsibility for what we're doing here so this is your daily weather briefing you don't have to look at this every day but I hope you'll think about some of what I'm saying here every day so that the world will keep turning like it's supposed to and that our air could be clean again and our water too but you know I live right here by where they had the brain-eating brain -eating amoebas. That's just less than 10 miles from here. 
in a couple of water districts over from here. And uh, I think one person died. That's all over the United States. Brain-eating amoebas. And 50,000 people are dying from auto exhaust every year. And this tripled in the last 20 years. And it doesn't seem to make the news or we're immune to it or we've decided, oh, nothing we can do about it. This is sad, people. We need to get... Uh, I am trying to sound the alarm in a way that you'll hear me and uh, maybe you won't do something about it except be cognizant and be careful what you do. We can't go around all wearing bottled oxygen or something like that. That's Too many people are doing that already. So anyway, I just hope you'll think about what I'm trying to tell you here. And, um, I am working hard, or at least as hard as I can, to make this happen and get us better air and better water. And uh, I hope that people will appreciate it. So thank you for even listening.